<laughs> oh. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this. What, the balance? I see a lot of 600s on <laughs> yeah. one side, man. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, it's... Uh, all right. um, yeah, it's, yeah, we just had this conversation last time. So. <laughs> uh, just whatever. Here we go. I'm going to... All right, I'll switch over to It was a door maybe it was meant to be. I yeah, gave Epic, him, him. Uh, yeah, Epic, we're, uh, I'm actually streaming on our channel right now. So we have a full caster mode perspective uh, the whole time over at the Shapers Guild. Uh, but definitely, you know, hang out here, watch Thor. Uh, his reactions are great. We'll put up, uh, <laughs> put up previews and do a lot more of this uh, from now on. So. <laughs> Been enjoying it. <laughs> Over sittings, like everyone is a Smurf. I think that's just a good assumption to make from now on. Everyone Dude. is a Smurf everywhere. Ever. Every everyone's a Smurf, and everything is spiders. Everything is spiders. Yeah. Everything is Smurf. Everything is spiders. Grand Magister is like what? I'm playing with Thor. Seeing some, uh, seeing some Predator throwouts. Predators. Make games swing one way or the other. That's all I can say about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Cassifine's like, I'm not a Smurf, I'm just bad. Everybody's a Smurf. So, seeing a lot of, uh, hmm. A lot of kind of normally tanky characters out of the mortal side, uh, and more damage characters out of the spirit side. Um, so we will we will see see what happens. Pred is legit. Don't even front. I nah. Oh. Nah. <laughs> nobody locked in. Nobody locked in. Pred. Let's just say that says a lot right now. Uh, I did get a chance when I was at the influence community influencer summit to see uh, the new version of Predator. Um, <laughs> that version was legit. That version was OP. Uh, hopefully they've made some adjustments based on feedback. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> yes, Fronius DG. Predators are swingers, yes, because they make a game go one way or the other. Yeah. Wow. It's an interesting. Cho uh, interesting. Ooh, good to talk. Crow and the Butterfly. All right. All right. Nope. Interesting pause here. Do you, you do you get a pause loading in, or is it just the casting? Yeah, people? a little nope. bit of a pause. All right. The I gotta pause. I gotta pause that too. might be the this. that might be the casting mode kicking in. It's hard to say. Uh, no dude, I do. No cap us. That, yeah. No no cap bus for me. I don't. I think I that scares me. That skin. Literally, I have <laughs> the Shogun cat bus. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty crazy. I'm amazed that they. I like that they. It was a bold move, Cotton. They went straight for the cat bus instead of doing the the spider like. I would have thought a spider would have been the follow-up. Thirty seconds until you know, like him riding a big spider. Yep. But uh, yeah, the cat bus is real. Meow. Uh, yeah, Michael War. My build for uh, him is pretty much my Bosco build. Uh, decay. Uh. Oh God, Jess. Um. Oh God, everybody, 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 posturing so hard right now, moving around the map. Minions have spawned. Okay, glory, rebirth. So standard starting items. I, wow. I keep saying this, and then I keep seeing people start with time. And it blows me away. I just don't see this in my MMR, I guess. Uh, time not the most common pick to start with. But if, if you play safely enough, you can make it work, I guess. But that's really what it comes down to. You're all in on just being able to fire off abilities faster and move a little quicker. Um, you have no sustain, no any kind of def defense, no damage other than the base damage off your abilities. So you really got to play carefully. So both sides doing a three stack for their first buff. Nothing overly exciting there. Someone die and I missed it. I'm seeing a life start out of uh, the Gladiator Ferris, which is a, a thing at, at MMR levels I am not in. Once again. Oh, 
sure he's going on hit Ferris and the wob 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 wob. Well, yeah. Uh, I mean, that, that could be it, too. I'm just saying. It's not usually a thing I see. So I've seen it work. I've seen ways to make that work. Not an on-hit, necessarily. Not a big fan about that. We're seeing lots of pings, uh, people not liking where everybody's going, but pretty much mirroring each other across the match. God, uh, I, feel like I'm, exactly what I'm... I feel like I'm watching the LCS here, where they do a jungle invades, and then it's like, what's the point of invading a jungle if, if they're just going to do that? Thor not getting any backup, though. The Cerulean just manhandling him. Showing him why you don't mess with the Shorewind tribe, uh, despite the fact that they haven't made an appearance in the Dongate Chronicles yet. So salty. So salty. <laughs> Tell them to keep them in lane, ping them, they're missing. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. That was interesting. Got him. Uh, yes, uh, Bloodshade Thor can hear everything I say. That's why I am talking in generally speaking terms. Mainly just about what's going on in full view in lane as opposed to uh, specifically the, the jungle routes or anything. Uh, we could fix that if I hopped out of chat, but I like to hear Thor's comments, so... <laughs> uh, since he is being so nice as to uh, let me spectate his his community games, and you get to, you get to hear my grunts and my sighs. Uh, what? 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 Oh my god! Yeah, all of that. <laughs> Grand Magister just getting worked, and this is this is the downside of that time start that I was talking about. Uh, not a lot of defense. Not a, not no sustain whatsoever. So it's gonna happen. Yeah, I'd like to see Spider Pig Mara Zalthulu. I think that would be a good Yeah, yeah that'd be pretty cool. I know. Yes, Fronius DG, I like to hear Thor's comment, i.e. Thor's panic. Yes, basically. Uh, some good trades happening in the top lane. Uh, City doing a great job, actually, of, of seeing his lane partner getting some damage, and instead of backing out, just using the damage he has to push them off. That's really how that has to work. You gotta get that trade. Uh, you just gotta make sure you're positioned well so that you don't get caught out as, as, at the same time. The stars are right. So Salus just continuing his jungle path. Flynn doing the same thing. Sergeant Buttersworth hanging out, carrying him. So, uh, this is an interesting. I have to say, this is an interesting uh, uh, pattern that Waystone has created here. Both of the Hutan. Shapers uh, get carried in game. But both of them carried by beetles. This just tells me that beetles are OP. Full going in on Immortal Sin. Immortal Sin just turning around, not caring, laying down the damage, and that's what actually is keeping him alive. Uh, that's what that that sustain coming off of the 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 hunger hunger start can uh, can help out with. Does okay, but they are pressured a little bit on that train. So on that trade, they have to be careful. Really in danger of dying. Got to watch out for that branching blade. Thor just uh, farming away. The Vex, the Vex may have to go back here shortly, though. Uh, they're going to have to play back so far because of the, the fear of uh, Sergeant Buttersworth throwing Flynn in. It's just not worth staying in lane and giving up a kill. Especially when there's a Salus on the other team as the jungler. That Salus just needs to walk up on the other side of the wall and throw his Q through. Uh, and it's all over there. Oh, ult out of Thor. Nice. Doesn't get the second one. Could use it on for the follow-up on Sergeant Buttersworth, no, but doesn't. Oh, no. Actually God, gets into me. bad situation. Thor, you could have gotten out. But instead, you're going to die. Sorry, buddy. First blood. So Mr. Google gets first blood. Should have just kept going with... Uh, Right straight back to your binding, and I think you would have gotten out. I can't believe I didn't get that kill on... What's his face? Ah. We only did buy lane winning lane. Right. That was a good, was a good... It was a good solid initiation. The problem was the Vex wasn't there. So, it's it was a 2v2 so uh, that turned into a 2v3. So, just kind of a bad situation because the Vex got pushed out of lane. Both junglers now, though, are 6. Uh, the Nisa is 6 on both sides as well. Interesting, interesting mirror action going on. So the idol on Nisa doing that little pew pew action when she throws out her blade. Uh, I'm not sure I'm the biggest fan in the world of that, but gotta live with it. 
final protocol, pulling a kill out on the Zalgus in the top lane. City trying to turn around and get a kill on, on Waystone. As Thor comes in, they are going to pick that one up. Not sure if they'll get Vicariously, though. He's a little too slippery on Vicarious. Did pick it up. Sal is coming in, trying to get the gank on the bot lane. Does get some solid damage on that Sakari. Sakari just melts. And now the Vex is in a lot of trouble. Sakari just going straight in on this build. Just went straight from time into energy. Um, I think at this point you gotta get some you gotta get some defensive stats. Get manhandled. Hey honey. Hi Thor. Oh, oh. One of the things you got to understand, though, about a Vex lane, as we see them having a little bit of trouble in the bot, is that a Vex is, is most of the time going to get shoved in early uh, and be behind. But that's fine, because you just got to focus on that late game. You really just want to give your farm, get your farm, even if you're a little behind uh, your opposing lane because they're getting a lot of pressure. Just got to stay safe, keep farming, try to keep your levels equal. Make sure you're building for the late game in terms of items, not just necessarily, you know, zeroing in and 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 focusing on just trying to build defense to live. That's not necessarily going to work, uh, despite what she used to do with that tank vex. Tank vex works on sheeps because sheeps. <laughs> Renzo thanks his sidekick. They just don't thanks for the Apollo, uh, Lando. Much appreciated. No Where's the willow ball? Oh, what's that? A little bit of trades going on in the top lane, not a whole lot. Smart Cam doesn't really know where to go. Come on. Hit six, Grandmaster, please. Thor really, <laughs> Thor really wants that uh, that ult out of uh, Sakari. I need him to sit six for me now. Yeah, he, the problem is, is he's he's zoned so far back that he's not getting any experience from the wave. And just not gonna get up close enough to really do anything at this point, which is unfortunate. Vex down to half health, totally gets gone all in on by Sergeant Buttersworth and Flynn, and the ult coming across is gonna finish him off. Thor comes in uh, trying to make something happen a little too late. Looks like Sakari might go down as well. No, they turn it around. He's got six. He's, he's got six now. Come on, I need you to ult it. Nisa. Uh, I need you to ult. Uh, I need you to ult. Ult, 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 ult. Yes. Do it. Do it. Oh, oh my god. Good job. I gotta say, the Nisa should have continued to focus on the Sakari. Turning off on the Thor there uh, is what allowed allowed uh, them to get that kill and actually pull out two kills. That turnaround in the bot lane <laughs> really was surprising. Um, pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. God, I had to have faith in him. He'd use his ult. Did you hear that? Is Thor is Thor doing it? Is he is he building the item I told him to build? No. Damn it. Told you to oh, build the pursuit. pursuit. Instead you rush Maybe. the decay. I see how it works. Wow. Ferris in the top lane on the mortal side still hasn't gone back to shop. Thirty three hundred Vim, folks. This is not what you want to do. Um, you can do this, you can pull it off, but why wait, man? Go back and get an item. Like, have that Cerulean come in, handle the wave. Uh, the other team has gone back and bought items, so, you know, why haven't you? Vex going all in on the sustain, <laughs> rushing that ambition first item. We had a conversation about that earlier, I'm not going to go into it again. Long range change on the Zelgus, just missing the Cerulean. Smart Cam goes back to the bot lane just because, I guess, Flynn? Like, Hutan Clan? A little bit of hype action. Feronius says, screw Pursuit, Impulse all the way. The thing is, is Flynn's W slows all targets around him, and if you add the Pursuit on top of that, no, nobody's ever getting away, ever. Flynn versus Flynn in the bot lane as they try to focus on the Nisa. No follow-up, though. Uh, Cerulean comes in, they focus on the squishy Sakari, and they pull it out with the final flight. Zalgus tries to come in and turn it around, but the Vex goes down anyways. Google focuses on Thor. Flynn comes in to follow. Are we going to get a Flynn? Are we going to get a Flynn stun? No idea. Is Smart Cam Smart jumps to a 2v1 in the middle that wasn't really doing anything. Uh, they're going to go ahead and pick up another kill. Long range Flynn stun on City. And they might actually follow up, but nope. Not going to happen. They're actually going to die. Oh, that. that was a great blink to give him enough distance to get away and get that kill on the turn. Oh, no. Gets a little overconfident, though. He's going to go down to the final protocol. 
gets killed actually by uh, by Cerulean before that happens. Lots of interesting choices. Everybody going ham because they're getting casted on camera. Spirit binding has been destroyed. Did uh did the uh, uh yep Ferris went back and bought finally. Gets goes straight into the destruction and grabs a time. I like that idea. Much better uh much better to rush that destruction on the Ferris. Um, it's just. I can't under I cannot under uh, un under describe I don't think that's a word but I'm using it anyway uh, how impressively strong a Ferris is once he has the destruction uh, in the early game it is insane <laughs> City's like uh, cat jumped on my balls that was that was the excuse for that whole uh, dying in the last in that last trade that's in that's why I don't have cats speaking of cats Thor going all in. Uh, totally misses everybody. Completely juked. Uh, no one around. Not getting anything out of it. I may have to change my follower alerts you gotta to, be me. to Flynn, because mm. he's awesome. So, wow, somebody died. No idea. No idea how. Outplay, I'm guessing. The camera did not want to follow that up. Go, Salus! Go! Come on! Get that Zalgus! Get him! Almost! Soham gets the follow-up anyway. Binding just needs one hit. Walk up and punch it. There we go. Wob wob. It's all it needed. Sad trombones all over the place. Too far from shore. So they're going to move up and uh, get some... Uh, Get some harass down in the spirit well. Still about a minute, a little over a minute to go before you can uh, you can pull off a steal. So this is this is where we're talking about the uh, the strength of that that destruction on the on the Ferris once he gets that pre like 20 minutes pre you know anywhere before 15 it's super duper strong. Um, I think you should just go back and get an early aggression though. Uh, and you're going to be even stronger in lane than normal. That's just the strength that that, that kind of item path provides. If there is. Vrazik's going just all in on Grandmaster 132. Nothing they can do there whatsoever. Totally get jumped from all angles. Really great baiting. Uh, master baiting on their parts, I must say. <laughs> Flynn just going ham into the bush. Not really anything Thor can do there though to follow it up. They're gonna lose a, a lot more workers. It's hitting the 15 minute mark, so they're potentially gonna lose that well if they don't do anything about it. Nice zoning by Drask to make sure that they didn't follow up to go for that kill on his uh, carry. That's how you want to use the uh, the Flynn. They almost should have called Flynn Leroy. You know what I'm saying? Because he just jumps into the middle of the fight with no regard to anything, right? Oh, man. Ferris just jumping over the wall to do some damage from behind. Gets his Zalgus low. No wave there to do a whole lot of follow-up, though. No secrets. Lots of posturing uh, by the mortal side team. At this point, I think uh, hey. it would be a good idea for them to uh, press their advantage and go ahead and take that top spear well, too. Starving out the spirit side is just going to help slow the game down even more. Googles gets caught out a little bit, but it's more of a bait since he's really ahead. Um, two levels ahead of most people on the other team. Four ahead of Sakari. Uh, not really anything they're going to be able to do about it. Uh, Lazarus, really, I love the new shaper. I love the new Shaper. I also like the Hutan that rides him. Right? Right? Beetle hype? <laughs> so at this point, the Vex really needs to get into his farming. Uh, he hasn't really done a ton of it. He rushed that ambition. Uh, I guess I'll get into it again. That really doesn't do anything for you uh, when you're getting pushed around in lane. Uh, it doesn't give you the ability to trade. It only gives you some sustain if you're getting in even trades. But if they're winning the trades, like, 
If you can't step up enough to, if you can't step up close enough to get consistent damage to heal yourself with, then what's the point of the ambition? Uh, you need to be able to, you need to be able to actually punch people in the face at some point. You're stressed out? I'm not stressed out. I'm just annoyed how this game's going on. Wah, wah, wah. Not a single buff on this Great day. initiation once again on the squishiest member of the spirit side. They're really just picking on the Sakari and keeping her down, and that's really the way to go. Uh, Grand Magister is going to go down here as well. There's no way to get out of that. And a 1v1 in the top lane. That Ferris just dominating the Nisa. Uh, completely to be expected. Ferris's kit is built to just jump in as an assassin and destroy a ranged carry. Uh, he's also got a destruction and a conquest, so you know it's not going to take much to take somebody out. Has slain the parasite. Mortal team picks up the parasite. That's going to help them push down those bindings. Uh, hopefully, they'll get a rotation up to the top lane. Finish off that well. Yeah, Epic got rice. Uh, this is a popcorn kind of game because there's tons of salt to go to go with your popcorn. Interesting. Incoming. Onward to glory. <laughs> Did Vex just leave? I don't know. Probably. Um. Nice. I hope not. I mean, he's definitely DC'd, which is unfortunate. A mortal player is astounding. This is fun. The mortal team has captured a well. Yeah, Fronius, uh, just scroll down, buddy. So hopefully the Vex uh, reconnects here. Otherwise, this will be over. Uh, over pretty quickly. Yeah, this is a guys. Just because Vex is on the free ship rotation, if you're a new, if you're a new player, Vex is the Spirit most difficult carry in the game to play. Um, he's really all about late game and playing very it's safe. awkward. Uh, so just because on the free rotation doesn't mean that he, sh he should be what you would want to pick up. Thor running away doesn't get caught by the Flynn, but Google's is going to catch him. But they uh, turn around, they Got get it. one kill out of it. <laughs> <laughs> one for two. See what happens. Sakari just going to get destroyed there. Melted, I guess you would say. Oh, I think Epic. Oh, yeah, we're getting a new site. Uh, we actually have a new site on the works. Uh, Fronius. Oh. Doesn't look like the Vex is coming back, unfortunately. But definitely, as as a, as a newer player, so just the uh, the public service announcement to newer players: uh, Vex not going to be the greatest choice to to start out with. Um, you're definitely going to want to put some time in practice games against bots with Vex. The bots are pretty aggro, um, stupidly so at times, but against a Vex, you kind of need, like, you need to learn to play against that. Because people will play highly aggressive against a Vex. And he is really, he is really uh, dependent on his items. There are only a couple item paths that are going to help you do work as a new player on a Vex. So. Uh, but right now, a huge, huge level disadvantage uh, for the spirit side overall. Uh, and that's just because they're getting zoned out away from from these creeps most of the time. Yeah. Onward to glory. Yeah, GLG uh, Hutaru in the chat uh, having a uh, difficulty meter for each champion. Uh, it's it's interesting. It's a possibility. I think Thor and I talked about that once. We were do it, actually. Something similar to that on the website. Unfortunately, things have happened and we weren't able to quite get that finished, but. It's definitely something we'd like to have have on there. They do get a kill, works it out. Let's see if City can keep him in. Nope, doesn't keep him in the Reaper Bane, but it does take a little bit of damage. He's going to try to chase him down, but he is super tanky, and there's another Nisa there. So he's just going to run run away. Beep, beep. Hey, Doc, what's up, buddy? 
And yes, as Paper Crane pointed out, spectators have their own chat. There's no need for you to type in game. Uh, go ahead and just type in your own team chat. Spectators have their own team. It isn't shown to everybody else in the game. That's where, if you're spectating, you should be typing. You're spectators, not interactors. <laughs> Oh god, super dead. What's the miles per gallon on that beetle? Uh, it's it's actually a hybrid, um, so it gets uh, great mileage. Super Sakari super melted dead. once again. The yeah, beetle just just stomped on. Uh, rough game, rough game for the spirit side. All apologies, you guys did what you could. Tough, tough time, oh, tough time. Man. I think the problem there is there were there were some newer <laughs> players on each side, and that can make it rough when there's some super experienced players in the mix as well. Because if you end up in the lane with the super experienced player as the new player, you're toast. It happens, LPS. No big deal, man. It happens. I actually uh, did drive a bug. Call me crazy, but I did. Hey, Volkswagen bugs are awesome. They are awesome. That's what they need. They need Flynn on a Volkswagen bug. <laughs> can we get that? Can we get the rights to that? Man, that was rough. Big yeah, guy, little bug. Big man had a little bug. I did actually drive a bug. Indeed. Indeed.